Let's talk about the case um, pen knife model number 109, item number 32087. It's a very handsome knife. It's a uh, old fashioned folding pocket knife, a gentleman's knife. And um, I've had this knife for a while, been carrying it for a while, and uh, I've been hesitant to make a video about it because uh, I have mixed feelings about this knife. The best thing about this knife is uh, the way it looks. Okay, um, Everything has a nice level of polish to it. The materials are um, go together really well. It's got Delrin handles, um, brass pins, brass liners, and um, it just all comes together for a really nice look. The blades are mirror polished and they are hollow ground. I, I don't know if you could tell but they, they at first glance they seem flat ground but they actually are hollow ground all the way up to the top of the blade. Just a good looking knife it's got nice, nice curves, nice classic serpentine design. Uh, just a handsome, handsome knife. So um, that's what I like best about this knife. Also, the the blade material is chrome vanadium. Um, I I like it. It's um, carbon steel with chrome added to uh, have a little extra corrosion resistance and um, holds a pretty good edge. It takes a while, took me a while to get a nice edge on it um, and uh, seems to be holding the edge very well. I just want to compare this case to the other knives I carry in my pocket. This is the Buck 309 Victorinox Bantam and the case knife. Um, the case is the thinnest of the three knives and you see it's about the same length as the Bantam so blade length is I believe um, about two and a half inches on the case and the cutting edge is about two and one eighth. Uh, weight wise, uh, these knives are all around one ounce, with the Bantam being the lightest. This guy's about one ounce exactly. And then these two are around one and a quarter, one and three eighth ounces. I believe the case is a little bit heavier than the buck. Um, price wise, Okay, we got $12, $22, $32. So the case was the more expensive knife. Let's look at the springs on this guy. Decent snap. Pretty smooth opening. Okay, it didn't come this way from the factory. I had to really oil it and break it in. It was kind of rough. Uh, the handle's pretty comfortable. The small blade doesn't stick out very much. Construction, the sandwich construction is pretty solid. I think it's it's um, you know pretty sturdy knife. Um, the edge, the edge on this knife. Um, the case knives nowadays come with kind of like a rough like uh, micro serrated almost uh, grind at the edge and um, I have sharpened this a little bit on sandpaper to smooth out the uh, serrations um, they'll cut pretty well coming from the factory it's just uh, I don't I don't you know I prefer like a smoother edge Not the best. 
think this guy needs a little more work, but uh, you get an idea. Of, you know, that's that's my fault. I could I get this knife sharper. Let's see how the pen blade is. Better. So I just want to say this is a perfectly good carry knife that you can use to do everyday tasks. Um, it's um, you know well made. You can. Uh, certainly get the job done with this knife. Um, one thing is uh, this knife is has the chrome vanadium steel and it will patina with time. Um, that's actually something you look forward to in these uh, kinda old knives to, to watch them kinda change with time and develop this nice patina. Okay, let's cut some cardboard. If you got a sharp edge, you can do anything. Alright, so this is a good, you know, good knife to work with. Uh, you can whittle with it. This is my little letter opener. Nice sharp knife. I like like the carbon steel a lot. So I just want to show you guys the blade stamps. Okay, so um, now I'm going to start talking about the things I don't like about this knife. Um, first thing is uh, what they did to the uh, kick of the knife right here. Okay, so um, can you? S this is the right angle to hold it right here. So for whatever reason, they um, ground this thing with like a rough grinder and they just left it like that. So it had all these burrs and sharp edges that I had to remove. But, you know, why would you go to all this trouble to mirror polish a blade and have everything else so nice on the knife and then do that to the blade? I don't get that at all. I mean, that really pissed me off, to be honest. So here's my buck, nice and smooth, rounded edges. Here's the Victorinox, again, nice polished finish to the blade. I don't get, and this is on, um, this is on both blades that they did this, okay? So why did you do that, Case? The other thing is, the second thing that bugs me, let me close the pen blade before I cut myself. The other thing is uh, this blade suddenly developed play. Okay, the main blade, and I really haven't used it for anything hard. All right, what you've seen is about the hardest use I just put it through. Okay, cut some fruit with it, open some boxes, that's it. All right, and. Um, folks on blade forums thinks that uh, there's some dirt on here on the blade some grinding compound maybe from the factory when they squeeze this together and uh, that as the dirt comes out that'll cause a gap that'll cause the blade to have play in there the other thing that's weird about this knife is uh, this has um, two blades on one back spring which means that the main blade needs to be um, crooked to accommodate the small blade. All right, that's called a crinkled blade. Now, um, the weird thing is both of these blades are um, kind of referenced on the same side of the knife. Okay, they're all touching this one liner uh, on on this side of the knife, which means that this main blade has to be more crooked to uh, accommodate the small blade okay there are there's um, one liner here on this side and then there's two liners on this side why couldn't this second liner be on the si same side as the small blade so that the big blade doesn't have to be as crooked um, 
don't get that okay so the other thing is uh let's see if we can focus here okay there's a uh, gap here you can see uh, between the spring and the liners uh, most of these pen knives have this uh, based on you know what I've asked people about on blade forums uh, there's just a gap it's not a big deal but you know something to keep in mind so I just want to give some concluding thoughts about this knife um, it's a good knife I'll continue to carry it I like that it's um, a good looking knife uh, I get compliments on this knife and I like the uh, chrome vanadium blade steel a lot and um, I like that this knife is made in the USA alright um, however uh, if you guys have seen my videos you know that I generally like to uh, buy inexpensive gear okay I figure uh, if if something cheaper can get the job done I'll just use that okay I'm not into really fancy uh, you know nice things I just want uh, good functional knives that work alright and this one certainly does but you know I also showed you the uh, issues that it had okay so you know comparing pen knife to pen knife um, the buck was not perfect either all right it needed cleaning up and and some tweaking uh, and and you know same with the case I expect that from knives that are twenty thirty dollars uh, however when it's cleaned up this buck is actually a really nice knife after a little bit of work okay this guy you know has issues uh, now um, you figure in this twelve dollar Victorinox with the you know beautiful uh, flawless flat ground mirror polished blade um, it's hard to justify why I would pay you know ten dollars or twice as much more for a knife like this uh, so you know I will buy more Swiss Army knives I will buy more buck knives it's gonna be a while before I buy another case knife uh, it's just the way I feel about it it's not a bad knife but in terms of bang for your buck I feel there's other choices, uh, better choices out there. Alright, thanks for watching my video.